What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're getting rid of my 1987 Suzuki LT250R quad racer. Now this machine right here, if you haven't seen it, I'll put the link, uh, I don't know if it's this, one of the corners. Um, I, I'm pretty good at the not knowing what corner it is. Um, but uh, that thing's going goodbye. Uh, the whole build series is on the channel. That's what I was getting with with the arrow thing. Um, the whole thing is on the channel from me getting it uh, to me finishing it. Uh, there were some pieces that I didn't show, but there's about 10 videos in there of that quad and the full full restoration on it. So I'm currently waiting for the new owner of this machine to show up. He's about 30 minutes away. Um, he's going to be bringing the new replacement. So stay tuned and uh, keep watching. Man, she looks so good. It sucks to get rid of her, but I'm telling you guys, you're going to be okay. It's, it's going to hurt more for me. But in all seriousness, this machine really does mean a lot to me. This is the first time I ever kind of did something big. Uh, currently, I'm. this is the new thing that's going to be like the big picture kind of thing. But this was my first ever build. Um, I sold my blaster, which was a tried and true ATV that just was perfect, flawless, nothing wrong with it. I even made a video why it was like the best quad you can buy. And I ended up selling it for a big project like this. And I could say I did it. It's done. Um, the only thing I didn't do was the plastics, really. And other than that, it would have been like a perfectly good machine. But uh, I just kind of fell, uh, fell out of love. And that's just sometimes how it goes. Sometimes people finish a project and their enthusiasm wasn't there. But it's all right. Um, there's going to be better things to come. So if you guys saw the last video, you'll know. I forgot to throw this in there. I got a the piece that goes over the radiator. But I'm giving them that. Uh, I bought a skid plate for it. And this is going with him. Because I won't be needing any of that anymore. That stuff's awesome too. It smells like mint. Um, but yeah, I just... This is a really big milestone in my life to finish this. I spent a lot of money. A lot of money. And it, I'll never get it back. But the enjoyment of building it. The struggle of building it. The, like, the pursuit to keep doing it was there, and uh, I guess that really shows. Um, a lot of people get into a project, and then they just kind of stop, and nothing happens of it, but I took my little break from this, and then I got right back on the horse and finished her up, but like I said, just never really loved it, and I never really rode it. I rode it maybe twice this summer, which, um, it's fall. I finished it in the spring. It tells you how much I, uh, I have time to ride. But here she is. This is the last real kind of nice shots you're going to see of her. I'll start her up for you guys just because one last time you got to hear it. Okay, that's that's one thing I'm gonna miss is the smell of the two-stroke because oh it smells so good it sounds so weird but it does but uh, we're gonna wait for this guy to show up and you guys will be introduced to the new project can't wait all right guys the LT is gone it's uh, it's official and I'm I'm really excited but let's take a look I got a 2007 YFZ 450, and I could not be happier. This thing is really sweet. So I'm going to go over some of the things she's got. It's got these oversized fat bars with the uh, oversized like riser on it. It's got a different front bumper. I'm not sure the brand. It's got new tires. Uh, the rear tires are new, but as you can see, they're, they're like bowed out. But they are ITPs in the back. Sorry, I'm kind of shaky. But they are ITPs in the back. Uh, it's got 
Pro Armor Nerf Bars, which I'm very, very happy I don't have Nerf Bars on. I just, I love Nerf Bars. They're one of the best things. It has an FMF uh, Factory 4 uh, slip-on exhaust, which is loud, let me tell you. It does have a tether um, already on there, which is pretty nice. So when I'm actually riding it, it's got this sweet Alba Racing metal gas cap, which I've always kind of wanted one for some stupid reason, but I, that's cool. Um, the seat does need to go. It's a rip here and it looks like a burn spot there. So I'm going to get a new seat cover for it. The mods are going to be so nice for this quad. I'm going to do hopefully a lot to it. Um, but for a lot, a lot less than the LT. I don't want to spend freaking three grand on it. Um, this rear tail light, it's cracked. It's fine. I'm going to probably upgrade this to the similar style as the later version with where it follows the contour here with the LED and it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to do that maybe in the future. Um, it does have the parking brake delete on there, so it's not all annoying and doesn't really work. But uh, I'll start it up really quick for you guys because it's, it's, uh, I see the light ups, it's light up very good. Uh, it's, it's pretty damn loud. So I'll just do a quick little start up for you guys. So it's uh, pretty damn nasty sounding. I am so, oh, words can't describe this thing right now. I'm so excited. There's so much to come on it. So uh, I'm going to end this part of it here. But we're going to fast forward to the next day because it's uh, 1130 at night. And um, I can't really rip this in my neighborhood because I don't think my neighbors would like me. So I'm going to leave you guys here for right now. And we're going to pick up in the morning. But let's uh, just say goodnight to this mint freaking quad. Oh, it's so sweet. All right, guys. As you can see, it's the next day. And, man, it looks freaking sweet outside here. Oh, this is my freaking new quad. I can't even believe it. It looks so aggressive, and I love the look of it. It's like the perfect riding day too. It's it's a little breeze, kind of chilly. It's fall, as you can see, all the leaves are changing. So it's gonna make sort of some uh, pretty sick photos of this. But oh man, does it look cool! I like the bumper actually. I, I didn't know if I was gonna like it. I like it better than the stock one. It looks more aggressive, and I can probably put a, a number in there at some point. But hell yeah, man! So here's the new quad, guys. I'm. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna blue ball you a little bit and we're not gonna show you the first ride until the next video. So the next video is going to be first ride on my 2007 YFC 450. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, hit that like button, it helps us out a lot. And I uh, hope you have a great day. I hope you like the new machine.